Nation, it's your boy JB, and I'm here today with more phenomenal Ranger Talk news of this week, the week of July 1st through the 5th. So, without further ado, you guys, so we didn't get a lot, a lot of stuff this week, but we got some pretty decent stuff. We got some con news, and we got some, uh, what else we get? Some gaming news. So, we're going to start out with the con news. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the more phenomenal Ranger Talk news of the week. All right, you guys. So, the first thing that I have here is that Hasbro, Hasbro's official Power Rangers panel titled Power Rangers Power Hour at San Diego Comic-Con 2019 will be held on Thursday, July 18th at 4 p.m. in Room 9. That's all I got. Don't say where it's at, but it's in Room 9. July 18th. Ah, that's the week of my birthday. So that's like two weeks away, you guys. So the panel promises to unveil new toys straight from Has Hasbro's design and marketing teams. Fans will also get a look at the future of Power Rangers Beast Morphers and other exciting announcements for the brand. Hopefully they give us a premiere date of, you know, the second half of Power Rangers Beast Morphers because that's all I really want. What the hell is Celine Dion doing? That's an interesting walk, but okay. So, the cast of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, however, will not be in attendance as Hasbro has elected not to bring them to the show. Which that's really interesting that they elect not to bring them, the, the current cast of Power Rangers, to the, the um, San Diego Comic Con. Interesting. Very interesting. So, among the toys expected to be revealed for the first time include Wave 2 of Hasbro's Lightning Collection action figure. Wave 2 is, expect is expected to include the Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger, so that would be Kimberly, or more likely it's Kimberly, and it could be Catherine. The Lost Galaxy Magna Defender, the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger, and the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. The previously announced Power Rangers Beast Morphers Red Ranger will also be a part, be a part of the wave. All slated for release in the fall of 2019. Fans may also get a look at some Lightning Collection figures coming exclusively to select retailers. Now it says, "Will the Psycho Rangers be in a? Will the Psycho Rangers appear in the lineup?" I so hope so because I really want a Psycho Pink figure. Okay, so then it says the second half of uh, the second season. That really, it's not the second season. It's the second half of the season. The Power Rangers Beast Morphers is due to air on Nickelodeon in 2020. Is also potentially slated to make its first appearance in San Diego, San Diego Comic Con 2019. Will fans get a first look at new toys, the season's title, or new footage? All will be revealed at Hasbro's first inaugural San Diego Comic-Con Power Rangers panel. In addition to the panel, Hasbro will also have select autograph signings at their booths on the show floor. At this time, guests who will be signing have not been announced, but the lineup is expected to include Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger Jason Scott from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the Gold Zero Ranger, and the focus of Hasbro San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Lightning Collection 2-pack. More Power Ranger events... More Power Rangers events around the convention are expected to be announced in the coming weeks. San Diego Comic-Con will take place from July 17th, really the day after my birthday, July 17th through the 21st at the San Diego Convention Center. So that's pretty much it for San Diego Comic-Con. Now, we did get some information about um, Power Morphicon that is coming in 2020. So, the biggest Power Rangers convention is back in 2020. That's right, folks. The 7th annual Power Morphicon will take place on September 4th through the 6th in 2020. It's a little bit later than it usually is because it's usually always in either July or it's usually in July. So it's a little bit later next year. But you guys have time to get your tickets. So, the, and actually, the convention will be moving back to Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California. The home of the show for six years from 2010 to 2016. The tickets for the event will go on sale in August of 2019. So you guys, once I have more information about those tickets, I will absolutely 100% post it for you guys to go and check everything out. Um, anybody out there who is interested in going to, con to like going to plan on going to Power Morphicon next year, like let me know. Like I've never been to Power Morphicon. And for it to be in September, so that's probably, I'm spitting, that's like going to be like the week of maybe, I think actually that is the weekend of Labor Day. So, you know, 
if you plan on going absolutely 100%, let me know in the comment section below. I Like I said, I've never been to a Comic-Con, a Power Morphicon, any of that stuff. I'm absolutely 100% interested in it. Now, I have been to events. You know, I, you guys, if you guys go look, there's a blog on my beat on my channel from last year when I went to um, National Comic Book, you know, Free Comic Book Day out here in Dallas, and um, and I met with um, Johnny Young Bosch, Steve Cardenas, uh, Karen Ashley, and uh, Walter Jones, and I think David Felding was there as well, who played Zordon. Actually, he was there, but I didn't even get to meet him. I wish I did, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me know if anybody plans on going. I would love to meet some people who go, because I, like I said, the tickets go on sale this August. So you have between August of this year until September of next year to get your tickets. And like, I'm gonna try my best to get my tickets. The thing that happened with me last year was I actually had the money for my tickets, but I didn't plan in enough time to get the hotel room, the flight, and the rental car and all that stuff in enough time. And when it got here, I was like, shit, I'm kind of F -O, you know, SOL. So I'm gonna pre-plan everything out now. So, you know, like I said, just let me know in the comment section who plans on going and, you know, we'll go from there. So now on to uh, the gaming news that we got. It was either this week or last week, but gaming news nonetheless. All right, you guys. So in gaming news, a brand new Power Rangers video game is coming to your mobile device. Published by Nexon, the company behind the worldwide gaming sensation MapleStory, I have no idea what the hell that is, comes Power Rangers All-Stars. Now, Power Rangers All-Stars will be a role-playing game that allows gamers to form their dream team of Power Rangers. Featuring heroes from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers through Power Rangers Dino Charge, fans can collect and level up their favorite Power Rangers for combat using in-game coins and crystals. So this will kind of be similar to uh, Legacy Wars because you have le in Legacy Wars you have the you know the Zeo shards, the uh, the the coins. So it'll be cons it'll be similar to Legacy Wars. So the teams currently included in the game will be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Power Rangers Wild Force, Power Rangers SPD, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, RPM, Samurai, Mega Force, Super Mega Force, and Dino Charge. Samurai and Mega Force and then Super Okay, Super Mega Force, like I'm cool with that. Cause you know, Super Well Well, Super Mega Force, it would just be their Super Mega Force powers, not the actual keys. So And I like this. I like I love the Super Mega Force suits. We're gonna we just gonna keep it going. So fans can check out profile images for each I for each team. Well it says below, but I didn't so I, I get all my I get most of my information from Power Rangers now. So if you guys want to go check him out, he has it on there. And he has he does he definitely has the images on his uh, page. So featuring the core team and their towering Megazords. So other game in game features include exploring in 3D the Power Rangers Command Center, um, piloting the most powerful Megazord Guardians, taking down massive in game original monsters. Completing daily missions and dimensional explorations with strategical, st strategical, strategically, not strategical, strategically selected ranger teams. I don't know why I'm saying strategical, strategically. Um, it also says selecting your best team of rangers for five versus five training battles in dimensional arena. Teaming up with, um, teaming up with members of your alliance to complete alliance raids. Receiving exciting rewards when both idling and participating. Um, Power Rangers RPG will be available on both iOS and Android devices. While the game has not yet released officially, fans can get an early taste by heading to Nexon's pre-launch site to sign up for more details as soon as they drop. In Power Rangers All-Stars, fans will begin in story mode where they will be guided through a tutorial by Dr. K and Colonel Truman from Power Rangers RPM. Cool. Okay, from there, they will earn the from there they will earn the core five RPM Rangers. That would be Ranger Red, Ranger Blue, Ranger Yellow, Ranger Green, and Ranger Black. So that'll be Scott, Dylan, Scott, Dylan, Ziggy, Flynn, and Summer. With the ability to unlock additional Rangers from other seasons 
as they progress through story mode levels. Fans can use fans can then use those unlocked rangers in versus mode. In versus mode, fans can complete daily missions, explore key world, explore key world from Power Rangers universe, and train their ranger teams in combat battles. Sounds interesting. Nexon released the first trailer for the game on Facebook, which fans can watch by going to their Facebook page. Um, Power Rangers All Stars was designed in partnership with Move Games to allow for easy playability. Is that really a word? Playability? Okay. Gamers can choose to either manually control their characters or customize their controls for autoplay. At this time, it is currently unknown when the game will officially release worldwide. So, I'm actually I'm actually interested in the game. I'm looking forward to it. So you guys, literally, that was pretty much our Ranger Talk news, our more phenomenal Ranger Talk news for this week. Again, like I said, it just wasn't a, a lot, but it was some good stuff in there. Like you guys agree, it was some good stuff, especially with the con news. And again, con news. Any, let me know who out there plans on going to Power Morphicon number seven in Pasadena, California. I've never even been to California before. But, uh, yeah, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this week's more phenomenal Ranger Talk News of the Week. Um, so, since it wasn't, like, a lot, a lot, oh, and also, we'll, I mean, I'm just going to include this briefly. Again, this channel is spoiler-free. I know that there are a lot of spoilers out there about Power Rangers Beast Morphers. If you guys do want the spoilers, there are plenty of places you can go to get the spoilers. One place in particular that I see spoilers is on um, Power Rangers Now, his Twitter and his, and his IG page. If you guys want the spoilers, go over there, take a look at them. I, however, have not looked at them. Now, I unfortunately have saw, like, you know, the uh, the, the whole team's morph. Um, I saw all five Rangers morph. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, I know I saw in the comments section about a lot of people questioning why Steel was morphing if he's one of the Beast Bots, but he's still a Ranger at the end of the day. He's still a Ranger, so he has to morph. Now, that morph is really kind of weird, you know, the keys and then their, their morpher, they have to stick it at the bottom. Like, what is that? But you guys, that was it for this week's in Ranger, um, More Phenomenal Ranger Talk News. Like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be a review of sorts. And it's not going to be like a, a review review, but it's going to be a, a recap. Well, it's like a recap review of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie that came out in 1995. So... Stick around for that video.